grow a number of crops that you probably won't find in your local grocery store. Among them are indigo blueberries, cherry tomatoes. They were developed through traditional breeding techniques by Brad Gates of Wild Boar Farms. These indeterminate cherry tomatoes produce beautiful long clusters of colorful fruit. The tomatoes start out green, then turn deep purple on the sunny side as they start to ripen. In full sun, when fully ripe, the fruit are purple, almost black on the sunny side, and crimson on the shaded side. Tomatoes that are mostly shaded by foliage may be mostly crimson, with a hint of purple when ripe. As with all of our tomatoes, we started the indigo blueberries indoors in mid-March and had an excellent germination rate. Now in early September, the plants are still quite healthy and prolific, and we've been harvesting ripe fruit for the last few weeks. Our indigo blueberry plants have been less affected by blight than most of the other tomato varieties we're growing. While Sweet 100s and Sweet Millions have lost many leaves to blight, the indigos have lost very few and continue to grow vigorously. This plant is well over 9 feet tall, but would be much taller if I hadn't topped it off a few weeks ago. On the downside, the tomatoes were slower to ripen than all of our other cherry tomato varieties. Like blueberries, blackberries, and concord grapes, these tomatoes get their striking pigment from anthocyanins. When fully ripe, they're sweet and fruity, though not as sweet as some other varieties. Some reviews I've read online say that the tomatoes taste sour and not sweet at all, but I suspect these reviewers may have harvested the tomatoes before they were fully ripe. It can be a little tricky telling when they're fully ripe, because their color varies depending on how much sun they get. Our garden doesn't get much direct sun, so ours are mostly crimson when fully ripe, with maybe a hint of purple on the sunny side. In sunnier gardens, they'll have more purple pigment. Fully ripe tomatoes have a deep color, are soft to the touch, and easily separate from the cluster. They're deep red on the inside and have a good sweet tomato flavor. Given the fact that we grow a wide variety of cherry tomatoes, we'll definitely grow indigo blueberries again. They're beautiful to look at, prolific, taste good, and they've been disease resistant. It's also nice to have one variety that ripens a little bit later in the season. This will help ensure that we continue to have ripe tomatoes until the first frost, which is about five weeks from now. I hope you enjoyed this closer look at one of the rare crops we grow that you probably won't find in your local grocery store. If you'd like to grow and to go blueberries, I provide the links to three seed suppliers in the description. We purchased our seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.